Hello everyone, this is Professor Ridley. I am your instructor in your Business 100 class called Introduction to Business. I thought I'd take a moment to walk you through the Blackboard site so you have a sense of where you need to be and what you need to be working on. If you're looking at the screen, you should see the homepage for your course, Business 100 uh, 000A. Over to the left are the links that you will be using throughout the semester. Let's take a look. This link here called contact information is pretty straightforward it will give you my email phone number in my office my room number you can see my office hours are mondays or wednesdays from 5 to 6 30 p.m you can stop by at that time to see me if you'd like to see me on another day and time you should call and maybe we can set something up i even do skype meetings audio meetings on the phone uh, i'm here to help you Okay, back to the left is a link called announcements. As you can see, I have placed a welcome announcement on this page, uh, which pretty much tells you a little bit about me. This page will fill up during the semester. Whenever I have something quick to tell you, I will send out an announcement. It will appear on this page and it will also email you. Um, lots of people, sometimes if you lose the email, you can always go back to this page and check it out. This will be very full by the end of the semester. Going back to the left, we see syllabus course information. Um, this page has your syllabus on here. It's a syllabus document, a course outline, uh, which walks you through the semester, and your textbook. When you registered for the course, you should have seen that your textbook is Foundations of Business 5th Edition. Uh, if you didn't, here it is. A um, couple of other items that are worth noting. A video on how to be successful in an online class, I suggest you take it, as well as rubrics that tell you how you will be graded. It's very important that you take the time to look at these rubrics. Let's go back to these two items here. These are very important, syllabus and course outline. Um, as you should be familiar, your syllabus will give you all of your touchstone information, description about the course, uh, prerequisites, objectives, textbook, what your responsibilities need to be, uh, even some information about extra credit if you want it. Um, and then talks about your deliverables. It gives you your grading scheme, what our grading policy is, and as well as some other administrative items. That is your syllabus. You should study it closely. In addition, in that li listing, we also saw something called uh, course outline. The document itself is called course schedule. Let's take a look at that. This course schedule is a 12 page document it walks you through every week and as you can see each week is broken down in terms of the items that you need to complete we even took the trouble of putting a little red arrow so that whenever you see this little red arrow that means you have what we call a deliverable you need to do something Week one uh, has you getting acclimated with your materials. Um, you will be graded on some of these items. And then week two has you jumping right into some reading and work out of your textbook. So you should be getting your textbook right away in week one. You shouldn't let any grass grow under your feet. As you can see, this document is, as I said, 12 pages. And we tell you every little thing, any given week, you should know what you should be doing. If you forget, oh, what day is it? What should I be doing? What should I hand in? You have everything here. As you can see, we try to stay with the seven day pattern starting school starts on Monday the 30th, ends on Sundays at midnight. That stays pretty straightforward all the way out. Uh, there are times when school is closed and we'll remind you of that. If so, then the first day of the week is on Tuesday, but it still ends on Sunday. So pay close attention to all of that. We do that for a reason, to give you all that information so that you are very familiar. You, as part of your syllabus, you should have read that you will have to do a semester paper. So, and when we get into week four, um, we will give you that semester paper with the instructions and it is due at the end of the semester May 15th. And so if we go all the way down to uh, close to that date, you'll see reminders 
And when we get to um, the end of the semester, uh, which is week 14, your paper is due May 15th. Let's return back to the Blackboard page. The next link is course content assignments. And guess what? Uh, that schedule, that document I just showed you, that your schedule of items that you need to do, course document, we took the trouble of creating a folder for each week. So the same thing you saw on that document is now here. This is where you will come to submit your work. We also have given you copies of the PowerPoints that the authors did for the textbook, as well as a glossary, which gives you terms that you need to learn. So you want to take a look at that. But let's jump down to week one. If we say it's week one, what am I supposed to do? This is where you come. Course content assignments, week one, let me click on it. What does it tell me? It's got everything broken out the same way it is on that document that we showed you earlier. When you have to submit something, you have a link to do that. Here we have a blog where we're going to introduce ourselves and we just go into the blog and we type our entries, right? So everything is here with as few clicks as possible. When you have a folder, which is every week, you should be going through every item on inside of these folders. And may I say, you should take the time to download all of your information in the beginning of the semester. Do not wait until Sunday night at 11 p.m. to scramble around to see what am I supposed to be working on? What documents do I need? Oh my God, Blackboard shut down. I can't get in. Let me ask the professor for an extension, etc. It's not happening. Take the time to organize yourself ahead of time so that you can be performing at your highest potential, okay? I'll probably say that many more times before we're done. So returning to course content assignments, we see this goes all the way down throughout the 15 weeks. You have a folder for every week, okay? Uh, returning back to the left, we have a link called discussion board. Very, very important. You have a discussion for every week in this course. The discussion board is the way for you to demonstrate what you are learning. You not only have your regular homework in every um, your week, week by week folders, but every week's folder will have a discussion board with a particular topic. You are supposed to, when you read the syllabus, you'll see this, you are supposed to participate on the discussion board at least twice. And when you participate, you need to justify your remarks. That means whatever the topic is, when you go in and say, I agree with this topic, this is what I think, you also need to supply resources. Where did you get your information? Was it from the textbook? Then put a citation. Did you go out on the internet and do research? Put a citation. Never submit your work without resource corroboration so that we know where you got your information. You will do that for all of the discussion boards. And as I said, you will participate two times in every discussion board. It is uh, suggested that you participate early in the week. Do not wait until Sunday <coughs> at 10 p.m. to go in and say, I agree with John, I d disagree with Mary, etc. Because it shows that you have lagged to wait for everyone else to do the work, then you take the time to read what they say and you form your opinion. The whole idea around you demonstrating what you know is to get in as early as possible with your contribution. I hope that makes sense, okay? Also in this discussion board folder is a forum called Ask the Professor. This is where if you have a question for me, the answer to which will assist other students, you can put the question in there. If you have a private question for me, of course, you can send me an email, okay? All right, if we go back to the left, we see Professor Ridley's blog, okay? This is where I will put all of the summaries for the different chapters to help you out, as well as any additional uh, 
thoughts that I might have that I might want you to know. Um, so any questions about that, you can get back to me. Let me see what else we can offer. Over on the left, again, is another link called Blackboard Collaborate. I sent you an email early, uh, late last week suggesting to you that we have a conference call on Thursday. And where you would approach that conference call is in this link. So when you go into Blackboard, click on Blackboard Collaborate. And as you can see, there is a conference call here for Thursday, February 2nd at 7 p.m. It's already open for you because I wanted you to be able to go in and test your computer to make sure it works. On Thursday, I would suggest roughly 6.30, at, uh, maybe 6.45, you might want to go ahead and log in. But at very minimum, make sure that your computer is working, your speakers, your microphone, etc., and that way um, you'll be able to participate. Uh, in that email last week, if you are you saw that you might not be able to make it Thursday at 7. Um, I believe we can record the call and you can dial in later. And finally, I believe I sent a link in case you're going to be away from your Blackboard, you can click into the call. Okay, so this was a very quick and dirty introduction to Blackboard. Um, one thing I want to underline before you even start working on your particular course, the educational technology team has created something called Are You Ready for Online Learning? And we suggest that you take this quick um, survey, I believe it's a survey with questions, to help you become comfortable with online learning. And it's very, very straightforward. You just click on this link, it's on your homepage of Blackboard in the, in the left-hand side. And I think I mentioned that in my email last week. Okay, so that's it for now. And I will talk to you on Thursday at 7 p.m.